Difficulty thingy. I need to get an RMCT one though. Is Author online right now? Uh, yeah, it looks like Author just. I'm pretty sure I saw Author say something. Yeah, Author Blues has joined the game. All the shoutouts, 3, 2, 1. Drop! Nice. Looks like, uh, was that Fuldesi? Yeah, Fuldesi decided to take a big hit there when he hit the ground. He's already he, down to three hearts. He did. But I've seen that happen a few times just to get ahead, so they don't. They can just hit the ground running and not even stop for loot. Yeah, he is definitely not stopping for anything. He is slightly ahead of uh, anybody on Morotaru, but not by far, not by much. In fact, he's stopping now. His skin yeah, is very confusing. Oh, he's got that he's fake diamond thing. Oh wow, already. Yeah. Nice. He's just throwing in a cannon. They're actually Sea Bank is getting oh, supplies. Oh, that would be so good if he'd nailed that. It slid down. He's doing it again. I think they already got their supplies out of that chest. At least some of them. And there it is. Taking out their stuff. Not really even seeing entities. So that's gone. Meanwhile, people have pushed ahead. Who do we have furthest forward? I want to say Pixel is the furthest forward. But he is stopping to chop down a tree for wood. He's got... Oh, yeah. Nice. First kill. Ta Dwarven Ninja's yeah, getting the first kill in Morotaru. Alright, Tash has gone backwards a little bit. So we do officially have Dwarven Ninjas forward the most. Pixel is doing a very common technique. He is breaking the block underneath the gold because at this point they don't have anything that'll break that gold block. So they're just breaking the block and moving on. I'm curious if he's actually going to try to run it right away or if he is just going to set up to be the sniper on top. Seabank is running first. No. He's getting supplies. And getting shot in the face. Oh, and returning fire. Fuldesi was killed by C Bank as well. So he's just getting this little supply area, and it looks like he could be setting up. Well, Frantic's dead. Oh, he lived. He had about half a heart left, and he was on fire. He lucked out. C Bank is definitely setting up another cannon. He's got a little bit of a zombie issue to take care of. Letting the zombie just deal with the current while he shoots his cannon. Opening up a lot of the blocks on the second area. Interesting. Oh, and Pokemon blown up by a creeper directly opposite. Now, we've seen some teams open up and really kind of make craters out of this, but in some ways it almost helps the team, yeah. the opposite team, and they just, you know, drop ladders or other things. And you're right about Foldesi. I keep thinking that's a diamond head. Yeah. Looks like he's got a diamond ha Pokemon. hat on already. I know. Of course, it's not been night yet, so everybody who dies has to make that long haul all the way back from spawn. Boldesi looks like he wants to re do the exact same thing. Set up some cannons. Will is like tagged off. He's now down here to man the cannon. He needs to get himself a little bit more cover though, honestly. Foldesi kept putting down TNT and, and, and stopping. I'm not sure if he's changed his mind, wants to back oh, he's out dead. for the arrow shots. There he goes. Take it out, Will. You just said he needed more cover. Uh -huh. And there's Seabank. So maybe yep. Will was just hopping down and, and he's trying dead to carry too. on. Oh, he got nailed for about six hearts too. by a zombie. And, and that's Foldesi shooting it off. Oh, it could have been so much better. Oh, they did open up the blocks around the wool room. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't actually damage That's it, good. but they did open up the blocks right around. That could have been bad. <laughs> we have Pixel and Frantic on the Dwarven Ninjas making a push forward. And they're getting caught, a, caught up in a firefight with Panda Man. I'm keeping an eye on Full Dusty. I want to see what he ends up doing here. If he actually does decide to build another cannon... And he detonates it. He's going to take out like their diamond picks, a bunch of food, a bunch of TNT. They're all this stuff. they got two players here right now up against him, too. Then again, they've got a cannon armed and ready for him. Yeah, exactly. It but was they like need cover. enemy cannon right there. Place blocks, dudes. Place blocks. Place blocks. Now, Pixel, who was forward er early on... 
for the Dwarven Ninjas, he is continuing to kind of set up. He's put, put some blocks down to kind of make an area for himself down below. Oh, I didn't see Fold to get taken out. He just got taken out. Nice. A lot of times you'll see them adjust for uh, for the water streams too. It looks like I Frantic is now dropping down on the platform that Pixel's already made. And yes, he's just released the block. He's let the water flow. Looks like we've got a little diving board situation here. And Frantic is going down in armor. Mm -hmm. And I knew it. He's got TNT supplies. He's got fins. We are going to see an Icarus. All right, got watch falling here. boots, blast protection. So he will be down, be able to be in that wool room very quickly. If they set up an Icarus, that's going to be... If they catch the water ship, etc., that is a very quick wall. See how close Mon uh, Morotaru are over here. Looks like they're setting up... Panda Man is, is busy setting up a little bit of a, of a base inside here. Oh, nice. He's actually got he's on his uh, blast armor, so it's good. Yeah, he does. And protection and the feather falling just in case. And he is very quickly setting up that Icarus. I actually think that's the same design we saw. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Saturday or Sunday. And... Nice. Beautiful. Caught the stream. Just has to swim up a little bit. There is mm -hmm. nobody on the other side ready to shoot him. Placed. Terrible placement, but it's placed. And I frantic can come right up the path that was created for him by Pixel and get on out of dodge. Meanwhile, Pixel is also fully decked out, and yeah, iron or no iron, getting shot. This is a frantic pretty intense back. PvP match. I'm seeing a lot more interplay between the teams than we usually see. Usually, we got like dedicated wool runners, we got people that are like dedicated PvPers, but these guys are all PvP and. Yeah, we've seen a lot more diversity in the PvP level with players so far this season. We're seeing a ton with this tournament. We're just seeing a ton of people. Even the, they're not just with bows. You're seeing them switch up from bows to cannons to bow work. Whatever is the best thing to do at that moment. Oh, we've got another fight over here with Tash and Foldesi just going at it. Looks like they're trying to make a little bit of a of a base area here possibly nope it's just where they've cleared out and are communicating back and forth Tash is trying no that's Will Tash is trying to pin down Will thought he was going to go back to his cannon and even there's some items that are left down here but he's not made it well, right now I'm watching uh, Frantic and uh, Panda Man both exchanging shots over here at the third wool we already know that uh, the Dwarven Ninjas have gotten their red, red wool out but Morotaru has not and I don't think they've even started, or started the descent down no they haven't okay no they have not Pokemon's over with the Dwarven Ninjas he kind of checked the chest over there mm -hmm. he's just set up to be any any kind of PvP pressure he can to keep them from uh, from doing any supplies or to be PvP pressure as they try to run this second wall. Follow up with Bessie right back, now. Got his stuff. He has recovered all of his things. Frantic. Inside. <laughs> Will and Seabank naked and poked with arrows. Looks like they're trying to gear up. Pokemon also basically naked in his position. Just has a couple of stacks of arrows. Yeah, he's just looking to uh, stop them at second wall. Oh, nice. Well, Desi actually taking time to place ladders so we can do a ladder drop down into this uh, first wall area. I believe it's first wall. The ice and such, right? No, second wall, maybe. Yeah. Second yeah. wall is, yeah, with the ice and. Well, there's ice everywhere, but with the ice and the uh, bedrock and the different things they have to dig through, yes, ice and glass and all that good stuff. Oh my, frantic! They 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 place several red wool down. They aren't moving forward with it at all. I frantic and pixel are both just trying to keep third locked down completely and not give them a chance. Looks like frantic might finally be moving back. Taking out the zombies as he goes. 
All right, what's a lighting situation look like? We've seen lighting be a critical mm -hmm. thing. There is almost a light on every block for uh, Mortaru. I'm seeing a lot but... of good spots for Dwarven Ninja, but a lot of them unlit. So we'll see those spots get very populated at night. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, much more scattered in... Yeah, very straight line lighting. That's That can potentially hurt. I will say, it seems like they've got their major running routes lit up, but none like none like the overhangs and stuff like that that would normally drop the zombies on your head and creepers and all that kind of stuff, so yeah, that might come back and get them. approaching the first night, mm -hmm. and interesting enough, I Frantic has run virtually all the way back. Foldesi is coming back quite yeah, a bit, too. Yeah, I've seen them coming back and forth I'm quite curious, a bit. I'm curious. Yeah, are, are we looking at supplies? Are we going to go ahead and try to place right here? That was a bit of lag. He just rubber banded backwards. Pixel is definitely uh, in a good position to hold the third. He hasn't even had to go down because they haven't had a chance to really make any progress. Oh, he is in a huge fight with Panda Man and it's just not going anywhere. We'll get... Oh, yeah, there it is. The mob effect. We've got dark patches. We'll getting jumped by by a zombie. Looks like they have used TNT to block off the mobs. It's not good enough. Oh, well. One heart frantically shooting. <laughs> you gonna boss it? Yes. Elmo has bossed it. I heard something explode. It sounded like a creeper. Yeah, I think it was a creeper over there with uh, Frantic. Or Frantic. Oh. He's getting nailed by uh, Skelly right popped. now. No, 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 no. Pokebone killing Seabank. As he was over here, again, the, the abandoned... Sorry, Will <sighs> just got uh, almost killed by a creeper. Will is not having a good day with mobs. Pokemon is in his little cover. He hasn't really put any light down either. He is also in a very dark place. There's not a lot of places for mobs to spawn to get him, but there's still a few. He's gonna get snuck up on if he's not careful. Frantic has made his way all the way back, almost to uh, to Pixel. Well, uh, he made a bad choice. Uh -oh. He made a bad choice. I see the zombie kill. Uh, TP to me. I'll show you exactly where he uh, dug down from. <laughs> all right. Then look up. Ah, ah. Sorry, yeah, I'm look, here look now. straight up. That's where he dug down from. Yeah, right oh. into all of that. With the spawner right mm -hmm. there waiting to have him. That's why you nice. don't dig down, folks. Meanwhile, all of the zombies here are having a heyday with his iron sword torches. I'm surprised we don't see, uh, arrows. I'm surprised we don't see that diamond pick in somebody's mm -hmm. hand yet. Earlier, we did see uh, a match where they uh, they did have to go back and kill a zombie that was in their full gold armor with diamond sword. It was so quite, quite the zombie. Frantic seems to be doing a lot of, of bridging. He went all the way forward, seemed to be just making sure things, the path was set. Even though they've already got red past this point, he's kind of making sure Pixel's got a quick way back, you know, as he dies here, etc. I'm not seeing, tell me you guys have set a bed in here. I didn't realize there was Villagers yes. on this map. I never saw them before. Yeah, there are. I feel bad for them. They're actually... like trapped down in a tiny little hole. Well, there are villagers, and they they will trade. And there is uh, there are emeralds on the uh, on the map. You can get flame bows. Oh, nice. So, and flame bows have really, really come into play, mm -hmm. particularly when we had that uh, two hour baseball well, hour and forty minute lockdown match. Oh yeah. Where the team lost all of their first wool. And had no choice but to um, just basically wait it out and keep the other team pinned. So we saw a lot of flame bow love. Pokemon blown up by a creeper. Foldesi shot by Tash. That's half of Dwarven Ninjas just taken out back to back. They're really not getting any progress towards third. Panda Man's trying to get to the top of the mountain to have a better angle on the PvP. 
And I'm watching really, Seabank from Orotaru, uh using that first or second wool cannon we saw at first, where they were getting really nailed down for a while. He was using that yeah. again, but really, I don't know why. Uh, there's really no real reason to be blowing this up right now. Well, a lot of them... Uh, is he opening this up in here? A lot of them... He's trying to destroy the, the hidey hole for the other snipers to fight, you know, to take out mm. their team. So, making it open, making it a pain for them. See, Pokemon's got to come back. He was kind of holding them back up here, and now he's got to build a floor and get himself mm -hmm. up. So it's kind of a sniper den destruction versus sniper den. Pokemon picking up all the blocks he can. Is that cannon? Or back to back creeper? I was too bang. You know, I was wondering why they hadn't blocked off that water yet, and now I know why. <laughs> Been a lot okay. more damage right now if they had have they had blocked off that water, made it easier to go up down this uh, this ramp here. Right, that's going to be a, a big thing. Ifrantic and Pixel both seem to be stationed at this third wall, not trying to let, uh, trying to keep uh, Morotaro locked down. Pandaman has not lit up his mountain at third wall at all. Nice it, shot. He's definitely got, ooh, Pokemon again in that little hole. Mm -hmm. He's having a hard time now. As soon as I said it, there we go. Panda <laughs> Man's getting some lights down before any more things come and jump on his head. Oh, Will again with the zombies. Mm -hmm. We're going to go uh, give them a listen right now and just, uh, I think I'm going to pop over to the Dwarven Ninjas channel first, give them a listen for a little while, and then maybe check out the uh, Moritaro channel also. All right. We are back. Looks like Seabank is also really just regening. Hiding back and forth, trying to get back into this. This is actually pretty good if they can keep, if they can keep this sniper den hollowed out. Then really, they're not going to have much pressure at all to get second. So Morotaro is really trying to make a stand. That's another potential uh, cannon being made to keep the lockdown pressure on second. Dwarven Ninja is trying to keep the lockdown pressure on third. Well, Desi, really not sure if we've seen any action. I think Dyer talked about first. I don't know that we've seen any action down here on first. Anything taken out, broken into, it doesn't look like it. Definitely nothing broken into, not seeing anything lit up. Evidence at least. Oh, oh! Frantic is now deciding to go ahead and go down. Open up. This is a very common place that we see. It opened up for the um, for the sniper's den right here at the bottom. Now this is going to be in case they do get somebody down, which it looks like they're making a full court press over here. In case they do get somebody down, you're going to be in a position to come down very quickly and really snipe them in the water. A ton of mobs. I can see Dyer over here. Looks like we have Panda Man still running back and forth. And who just died? Tash, that might have been who they had up here. I saw another body besides Dyer. Looking like they were working their way through. So we have that last death point. Nope, that would be over here. Pokemon. He just died as I uh, as I looked. There goes Tash, coming right back. Will is definitely not having a good day with all of these mobs in his face. Panda Man taken out by Pixel. That means they are really hurting. Oh, he's got his beds in here, but he's going to get shot just trying to get up there. That was their real defense. They didn't have a second person to make any progress. But yeah, there he goes. Shot again. Getting back up here to get your supplies is going to be very hard with two people constantly shooting you. This could be a death loop. Oh, we'll take it out by Creeper. Frantic again, putting down a lot of blocks. It's like safety rails, etc. Building up a bit of a, of a bunkerage for their sniper area. The dawn has come. There's no more sleeping. You better have set your beds while you can. 
It looks like there's quite a few uh, cannon plans that have not quite gone to plan in this match. A lot of water being diverted over here. This is to protect this, this as much as they can. Really not over a lot of the important plot spots though. There's Pokemon. Yeah, he doesn't even have a stack of arrows on him right now. He's just trying to give all the pressure he can to Sea Bank. I would love to see them get a flame bow and just shoot that TNT. Looks like he is about to take him out again. Really getting low. Neither one of them have any armor on. They are just duking it out naked in this sniper hole. Well, Dissy, look at you. Making a interesting choice there. Are you looking to dig all the way through to the back? No. Front again, pouring the water. He sees the cannon coming in. He wants to give himself some protection. Meanwhile, they are still shooting Panda Man like crazy. Still getting loaded. He's moving back and forth. He does have some armor back. He got himself, himself recovered. He is looking to try to route them. This cannon could be good, but that's a lot of water protection. Yeah, kind of open them up. Now remember, their, their bed is just inside here too. So, opened up. Potentially, if he gets some more shots in there, he could take out their bed in the day. That would hurt them. Frantic, frantically pouring down water. Try to uh, protect their camp. Oh, you can see Panda once again being taken out. Having to collect his stuff. And quickly put it back on again. So that is clearly what they're shooting for is to try to uh, route the lock point on third that Dwarven Ninjas have really established well. Tash once again getting supplies. Pixel and Frantic seem to be in a good position. Frantic is really the running man right now. He is going back and forth and just doing whatever needs to be done giving protection right now. Morotaru has not been able to get anybody up into third. Pokemon still at a standoff. Sea bank yep. Take a look. Pokemon, ooh, dying seven times, having eight kills. Sea bank dying ten times, having five kills. Oh, Tash taking out Pokemon. So he got hit from a whole other angle even. Tash just popped up here and said, you know what? I see you too. Took him out. Very nice. And Kennedy? Oh, pretty much hit the water. Really didn't do anything terribly effective. Oh, <laughs> poor Panda Man. Tash seems to be getting just basic supplies. I'm really surprised he's just punching out this wood. He may just need a very small amount for something. You saw they did have that uh, area lit, lit up. Wherever you see the mossy cobble, that is where there is a hidden spawner. Sorry, I had a cough, so I muted you. Whenever Fungin hides a spawner completely, he always marks it off with the mossy cobble, and so you still know it's there. Yeah, Panda Man trying another direction, getting shot down. Will killed by a cave spider. Just no love for Will. The mobs are all over Elmo today. Seabank got kicked out, so he's running back. Oh! Are you about to run first? Are you mixing it up, darling? I'm just getting oriented on where he is. He is. Did Seabank even die? Seabank was shot by Pokemon. He did die several shots ago. He is looking to make a quick run on first. Oh, shot right out of the world. Didn't look like he really had anything. 
Of course, he has nothing now. Doesn't look like he had much. He was kind of just pushing for a big, quick, naked run. But he did die. That means he's right back. Sorry, that would be my cat knocking stuff over. Pokemon by Tash. Again, we're putting full court pressure. And it looks like Tash is going to actually run this. Yeah. This is a situation where we had the wool runner pausing to shoot the person giving him a hard time. Oh, not enough. Not enough coverage. Seabank tried. You can see where Tash came right back up. His bed is just there. He's going to drop down and just keep going. Fuldesi has been called. Fuldesi and Pokemon trying to stop them from running second. Let's look at what Fuldesi has on him. Yeah, just tossing off now all of his supplies for his arrows. He's only got... Ooh, frantic. You are not reaching. You do not have any food. I guess you could nom on some nasty eyes and rotten flesh, but other than that, you have no food. And you have no torches, apparently. Or, or uh, picks. You have pick. Why are you breaking that with a torch? Do not break that with a torch. There you go. Panda Man all the way at the top. Have we had water? Yes, there's some water being diverted. Not really where you need it to be. But there is some water being diverted down here. Panda Man kind of running circles. Shooting. You can see he's lost a lot of his armor. He's got to adjust the, the hat and the booties. Seabank being taken out by Pokemon. They're just back and forth trying to break... The lock on third, trying to break the lock on second. Curious if Seabank's going right back down to run first. Neither team has made an attempt, a serious attempt on first. At least gotten close to the wall. No, he is bypassing it. I'm going to assume he's going to go ahead and get himself equipped before dropping down this time. All right. So really, to, to, to review right now, what we've got is Dwarven Ninjas really got to third. I see some more water coming down. Got to third and are trying to take over a possession of third. You can see all the water they've had to do because they have been heavily pressured to break this lockdown by Wartaru. You can see the uh, Panda Man being shot. You can see the water being diverted, the, the different things that they're looking at, trying to get down to where they need it. A lot of his gear just hanging out there. Pandaman has been so low for Morotaru on this side of the mountain most of the time. So really, Dwarven Ninjas don't have a foolproof lockdown, but they've got a lot of control on third right now. Meanwhile, Morotaru is really putting the pressure on Dwarven Ninjas at second. They are just full court press. You are seeing all of this destruction. Dwarven Ninja's Pokemon over here was in a sniper position to try to take out, ooh, dual creepers, to try to protect their runners or take out their runners and we're not able to stay there. We've moved spots. We've got Morotaru up here. Seabank, Foldesi, and Tash have all been in play just trying to keep second lockdown and out of Dwarven Ninja's hands. They're really, really, excuse me, Fuldesi is on Dwarven Ninja's. They've just been going back and forth with trying to uh, to keep possession of this side. A lot of water being dropped. Again, protection from cannon fire. Frantic and Pixel over here. Looking at building up their stuff. It's like Panda has finally made some progress inside. Is he coming back up? Yes, he is. Got some blocks. Does have a boat. That's interesting. More water. We're going to see a boat drop here. None of this water really where he needs it besides just to try to uh, make some protection for his snipering. Dwarven Ninjas have also opened up. You can see Panda Man right here diverting that water down and getting sniped. And hopefully he didn't lose. It looks like 
his stuff with Lily had went right over the edge. But he did make progress. This is kind of a he is pain looping this, but he is continuing to make progress every time. Alright, so Panda Man getting himself some more blocks. He lost those few. Last time we saw this match played in a in an RMCT official match, not the show match, was that epic lockdown hundred and whatever minute, I think it was a hundred and forty minute, um, excuse me, hundred minute match, which is an hour and forty minutes. Oh my goodness. Are you going to be able to make some progress this time? Did you get gear or just blocks? I think he's just got blocks. I would just be blown away if we had that happen again. I really hope we don't, but I would be absolutely stunned if we have two matches in the same round that go to time. Oh, somebody's Wolfie got killed. We, uh, Will is really trying to cover up this hole. You can see the flame bows. You can see the flame bows. Frantic, do you have it? No. You do not. Voldesi. There it is. Flame 1, power 3, flame 1, power 3, flame 1, power 3. We have got the flame bows coming out. Will is not a happy camper. Oh, Will and Tash both getting nailed right and left with the flame bows. Not pretty. Not pretty at all. Nobody has really been able... I'm not seeing progress on either side, though, with running second. It's basically been just abandoned on both sides. We saw this, this initial push here that we were going to get somebody down for more Taru, and you know, they dug down, they got killed right here in this ledge, and they haven't been back for more. I'm curious, Seabank seems to just be coming right back down into the protection spot. Are you going to put some lights down finally? Look at these creepers. Oh, yeah. Creeper to the face. There it is. It is dropped. Panda Man. Again, getting more blocks. But you can see the progress he has made under tremendous pressure. In fact, Foldesi is coming back down here. Yeah, Foldesi is coming down with Ifrantic and Pixel. I'm curious if they're going to... Ugh, shot by Skeleton. If they're going to switch off or if they're going to have all three people down here. You can see he was able to make the let the water flow. He was able to put a little bit of a water barrier to, for some kind of protection. He did not break into the wall yet, but he is right there. So Mortaru... Moruturu are so close to getting red, and it's going to come down strictly to Panda Man repeatedly looping this in all pain and agony to get this wall. This is a really good lockdown point. Frantic, Foldesi, Pixel. Very curious. I assume we are just getting resupplied and exchanging of goods? We may see a run on first after some uh, gearing up. Will lighting up this huge crater. Tash right with him. Flame bows coming in right and left. Tash on fire. And taken out by a skeleton. Cleaning up the job. Foldesi. Is that what he was... He only has the one power bow, the one flame bow. Alright, let's... Ooh, that was creepering. V-Pixel has the flame bow, power bow. That's what he was doing. He was spreading the love of that flame power bow all the way across. So we figured they were exchanging goods. That's exactly what it was. So we get frantic to... There is the third one. One flame, three power bow. Those are very, very good bows. Not a lot of shots, but you can actually get enough experience. To, we, we saw it. We've seen it several times, especially in that hour and 40 minute match where we had 
full healed up fr <laughs> oh my goodness I almost said frantic for I frantic fully healed up bows repeatedly so even though there's only a few hits does not mean that can't be a powerful weapon Pokemon is back here full Desi is back beds are set no real progress but do we see it being ran now or are we just coming back down to this sniper spot I hear some mining of lapis we could be looking at the um, the experience to go to the enchanting table and uh, do just what we were talking about fix those bows pixel and frantic still hanging out third just trying to keep the lockdown I want to look specifically at panda ah Panda and Will are saying we want some flame love too. Uh, Will, nothing. So I'm probably just exchanging of stuff. We are all right here. They have the enchanting table set up. Definitely looking at a uh, at a flame bow trade. Curious. Yeah, Panda Man's not going to get it if he's going to still be running third. But he did get himself geared up. He could be looking for somebody else to run it. And he's going to... Francis Best Cannon. Going to uh, just take over a PvP spot. We'll have to see who decides to do what. Oh, well. Mm -mm, creeper. Fall damage. Lovely golden skeleton there. Running. Ah, Sea Bank. Looks like he's running down. Are you back to your position as sniper or are you going further? Kind of man trying to uh, fight it off. Oh, Pokemon about to bite it. Of course, his bed's right here. He's backing off to regen. Sneaking so nobody knows exactly where he'll pop out. I heard it. There it is. I have frantic. Pokemon was shot by Seabank. Must have decided to poke his head out after all. Looks like we're setting up another charge, yes. Skeleton all over your back, Frantic. There you go, light it up. Alright, opening up this area, which is going to make it difficult to get back to. Oh, and a creeper hanging out in the bedchamber. Ah, oh, for Mortaro. Morotaru, oh, oh, oh. Again, frantic looking to just open this area up and make it difficult for anybody to come over. Right now, nobody from Morotaru is at third. Although, I'm curious, we haven't seen... Yeah, Panda Man was shot by Foldesi. He may not be set for his spawn here again. Or he's ran right back. Will check it out. A bit of safety. Continuing to pummel this open area. Frantic. Of course, it's taking out lights. It's making this dark, difficult. You just saw Will. There he goes into the void lane. Very, very hard to traverse this now. So, as he tried to go on this back edge, it's a dangerous. Got smacked right into the void lane. So we do have a whole crater here where they just decided, you know, we're not just going to shoot with arrows. We're going to go ahead and just take out as much of their lane as we can. If they can get across, there is still a bed set where Panda had it. Oh, a bit to the left there, but it's not going to do them a heck of a lot of good until it turns night. 
once again. Seabank Tash all setting up over here. Panaman, oh yeah, Panaman not surviving here. There is of course the zombie spawner right by the village spawner which you want to take out or you will have your villagers in trouble. Full Desi actually in full diamond armor this time. Matches up in an hour, oh my goodness! We have already been 40 minutes and 7 seconds. I cannot believe this. We have got to see something broken. Full diamond and the diamond pickaxe. I will be very surprised. Yeah, Pokemon in a mix of leather and iron. And of course just his normal head there. Will and Tash being taken out by Full Desi. Are we going to see this being run? I half expect to see some movement on this with that diamond armor. That was a villager. May he rest in peace. Frantic again. They're getting blocks like crazy. Pixel now loading up the cannon. Making the crater go boom boom again. Yeah, they just continually chiseling away at it. This is Will in the Lapis Mine getting himself a bit of experience, opening it up, getting some blocks. Oh, this is just brutal as far as the fight goes. The PvP can really be epic on this map. There are so many good places that you can... Oh! -ho! Diamond armor or not, Full Desi, that flame bow is gonna hurt. Gets under your skin. And right back at your panda man. Diamond armor or not. He's backing off, backing off, doesn't want to lose that. Diamond chest. Leather pants. Or, uh, let's look at new pants. Leather head and boots. Will coming back. Panda man coming back from death. There we go. Full Desi. Are you getting to run this? I saw the diamond pick. Are you running this sucker? I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. We're not just getting supplies. Yes, he is definitely running this. Tash. No, Pokemon. What are you doing in here? Collecting more TNT? Full Desi getting shot like crazy. You see all the flame bows. He's tucking in to regen. So Fuldesi is trying to run it. Looks like Will is down to try to run it again as well. Has no armor. Ah, shot by Fuldesi. Wool runner PvP it looks like. Oh! Tash has got red wool. Fine. Get there the other way. There he goes. He's coming right back up. No Icarus, nothing fancy. He's just running the wool. Pendaman works so hard to get this open and ready. Tash having a diamond chest plate, leather helm. Really, really slow. He's going to, yeah, he's being shot already. They are quite aware of him. Oh, that's a lot of blocks to get up still. V Pixel enter the Void Lane. I'm curious if that was an intentional death because, oh, 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 you see, he just got knocked down. This is such a hard thing to climb. Oh, and doomed to fall. Getting out, getting the wool out is so difficult under PvP pressure. Especially up a one by one column of water because it's just... There's no place you can really go left and right. It's just slowly up that one spot. Frantic setting up down here. I'm really betting Pixel purposely killed himself for like a food issue since their bed is set right here. Take a look. Hi, honey. Hi. I left you alone for too long. I felt I realized that. I was like, I've been down here for a while just listening in. Oh, it's all right. How are they doing over they're, there? What are they, what are they I would say Dwarven like? Ninjas is enjoying themselves. 
they're, so they're, they're having feeling fun. pretty comfortable. I don't know about comfortable, okay. but they're feeling fun. They're having a lot of fun right now. Okay. They know they've got them locked down hard on third. Um, they do. They do. As for Cash places, going back I don't down know. for more punishment. They, they both need to figure out something to do on the first two rules, though, you know? Also, Six Leona exactly. says, uh, or Six Leona says, hi, honey. Hi. You saw Tash. Uh, it looks like he's got virtually nothing on him again. He's looking to run this again. They can't just. They're pain looping make a lot. I'm seeing a lot of pain looping on both teams, honestly. Um, yeah, although we are seeing slow but steady progress on the second for both teams. Yeah. But it is a matter of pain loop. Will, again, dropping down, trying to get his stuff. But he's only got three hearts by the time he gets to it. Doesn't have anything, mm -hmm. really. They need, a, they need a better way to get up. They need to have all their team come take the pressure off him when he's coming back up, basically. But they are not able to do that right now because they're all trying to work on different wolves. Now, Will's working on the wool, but he does have a flame one bow. Trying to take out Foldesi, who has put down a door. Nice. Oh, that is beautiful. Put down the door for protection. Now, Foldesi in the full diamond armor, and he does have a diamond pick. Will just has stone picks, and they both have a flame bow. So, let me make sure Foldesi still has that. Nope, Foldesi has passed off his flame bow at some point. Ah. So, Will trying to get the flame bow in there. But Foldesi, with the diamond and the diamond pick, he's going to make just such quicker progress chewing up this this rock. But he is about to hit the big hole that they made in their wall here. So he's going to have to get up somewhere. And I am stuck going a specific direction. The keyboard got stuck. Okay, there we go. Foldesi opening the door to shoot it. Yeah, Will is now in a dance. He's dancing. Oh, and he's dancing. Dead. Oh, he dancing and no he's more. popped. And of course, with the water. And that's all gone. I'm looking down here at the very Looks bottom. Looks like it's he's all got gone. some cobble. Looks like there's, there's a one bow. stone pickaxe. He had a nice cobble. flame bow that's gone. Yeah, that's that a big bow. loss. Actually, he might have left it up no. here. Never mind. He's Since got. Oh, look, he left has... himself a little treasure trove. Oh. Oh, did he drop some stuff off mm -hmm. before he dropped down? Oh. Foldesi actually losing critical moments with his diamond armor. I actually, if it was me, I would have made a little bit of a press to see how much further yeah. we could make it once he took him out. But obviously, Will dropping right back down on him. There he goes. Looking to make a little Ugh. bit of a protection. Going back behind that door. That fire bow sucks. Yeah, that fire Thanks, bow. Scott. Diamond or not. It's going to get you. Yeah. There's fire Will is just, recovering I with hate fire bits. in this game so much. Yeah, fire. <laughs> fire bad. Fire, 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 fire bad. Fire bad. Exactly. Fire bad. We have Seabank looking like he's going to make a run on first. He's been over here at first before. He he has a bow and no arrows left. He has no sword. He has no pick. I think he's just hoping to open up the area a bit. See how far he could push it. But really, you gotta have some base supplies. Yeah, he's looking to do a straight naked run. He's made it past Who's the initial now? area. Seabank from nice. Orotaru. He's making a push on first. Nice. Good. It's naked. Doesn't even have a weapon. It's not looking good. Oh, uh, mobs. Yeah. Didn't last I long. I like Seabank's skin, by the way. Yeah, I do too. Foldesi breaking Pokemon's. into the second wool room. Here it goes. Oh, is he finally doing it? Nice. Yes. So Foldesi has the cyan wool. Will is still working his way up. How did he handle? He just, yeah, he just stared and uh, towered up. Having that uh, diamond pickaxe makes such a difference. Now, this is a pass around that's interesting. Now, this is they interesting, can actually right? They can dig through from the other side. Interesting. There is a there's a hole that they can actually dig through from the other side to recover that. It can also be blown up though. So we'll have to see what is, how they Oh, is he that. he's doing an item elevator, I think. This is what this is, right? Uh possibly yes, yeah. That's what he's yeah. doing. Okay. 
He's trying to force those uh, those blocks up. Meanwhile, he does have a pass around. I've never actually seen one, actually. I've, I've always heard about it, but I've never actually seen one. Interesting. It's, it's, it's funny, because you wouldn't think that it would, it would work like that, but it's just Minecraft. Looks like Tash is trying to go back to third, and this time he's getting shot in the face by skeletons Boom. and Pixel. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Like, it's not where it should be. It didn't look like it. Looks like it popped out on top of the glass, which you should probably grab that. Alright, so we do have two wolves from Dwarven Ninja recovered. Not fully safe, but but gotten. Mortaru has gotten two red, but they have not extricated. So many deaths. So, this is going to be a yeah. supply match, basically. I think Mortaru is going to end up... I, I would say Mortaru, Mortaru is going to probably lose this one, unless something changes, because they're running out of supplies more than anyone else. They've lost diamond, they've lost a bunch of their, their equipment and armor, and uh, I would say Dwarven Ninjas right now is in a better position uh, equipment-wise than they are. Well, yeah, and as long as they can secure... Actually, just the fact that they secured red, they're better position, because more Taurus broken into red, but they couldn't get it out. They were killed trying to get it out, so that's just... They touched it, basically, but they have not secured red in any way, shape, or form. Tash, he's finally made his way up to the top again. Looking at Tash's inventory, he's got a handful of blocks and four arrows. And he's dropping down. You need to either get supplies or you need to get stuff for Icarus or make your water flow a little bit bigger than the one by one or something. Oh! This is interesting. At some point... On one of his runs, oh my goodness, on one of his death runs, this is what he's doing. Tash is literally building himself a protection wall mm -hmm. down this one by one stream of water. So he can go up it again and not be able to be shot in the face. So he's just slowly, he's got dirt and snow blocks. And some... Yeah, that's not quite placed right for those brick blocks. But yeah, he's he's adding blocks to give himself protection. That's pretty cool. I, I gotta say, Tash, that I, I've not seen that. That is pretty cool. They're gonna shoot me in the face. I'm gonna put some blocks down. It's gonna take me a few runs anyway. And he got quite a few down. He is going back up with Red Wool, putting blocks up on his way up, He's made himself a little shield. He's run out of blocks, so there's like a three block gap. They can still get an angle in on the side. Oh, like that. Frantic still just adjusting to get a picture, but that, um, that was an interesting thought to try to protect himself from the front. Didn't work out so well. Ooh, sea bank. Bit of a creeper hole here. Well, Desi's still in the wool room, shooting the other side. He could actually stay there since they technically have their pass around set if he just hangs out. Pokemon does have the uh, the cyan wool as well. He's got four of them. Oh, I cannot teleport to Fulda to a Pokemon yet. He has just come out. Fulda Pokemon has got the cyan wool. Oh, you guys did a uh, item elevator on it, huh? It. Nice. Looks like they did get the item elevator. He has retrieved it. Is placing stuff all over the place. He's actually going really far back. I'm curious if he's actually going to place this on the monument or just put it in a box near the monument. In danger of being mobbed. Serious danger being bombed. Has he placed it yet at I all? I love his Rubik's Cube head. He's placed it in several places, okay. yes. Oh. Oh. It's definitely secured, but yeah, oh. I know. I know the spider on his head. Oh, half a heart. Taken out, oh, shot by a skeleton. right there, too. So They've got to come back to that, too, because he's got a lot of stuff on 
Frantic is really looking to just bear down all the pressure he can on Tash, not let him down. Oh, do we finally have somebody else from Morotaru coming back to support? Looks like it. Panda Man has returned. Panda oh. Man is now at third, Pokemon. trying half to help. Two and a half. Two. He's got his stuff. One and a half. One. <laughs> half a heart. <laughs> and shot by Skeleton again! Alright, well, Lord Taru GG. finally have some backup. Panda Man is trying to shoot at uh, Dwarven Ninjas to their lock on third to give Tash a chance to get up here. He doesn't actually have oh, to wow, kill them as long pillaring. as he can just make him dance. Yeah, he, he's put this whole wall of protection wow. in, in front of his wa water. He just has taken the time in the pain loops to put down protection, and now they've got Panda up there to try to keep the uh, those snipers dancing and give him a chance. He's still being shot. Yeah, that's. I mean, really, a one one wide wall does not do much. Well, and a one by one wall of uh -oh. water is a very hard thing to climb. Oh, don't get stuck <laughs> on your own. Yeah, there you go, baby. Oh, Pixel was taken out by Panda Man. That means there's only one sniper. Of course, his bed is right there. There's only one sniper while Pixel gets his stuff back. Putting pressure on him. That is critical. That's what they needed is some team support to get Red out of the of the wall box. Oh, Seabank killed by Zombie. He had been looking at first. I want to go peek at him again, too. But I really want to know if he makes this. This is as close as he has gotten. He has got to just be tasting it right now. And it's so slow. Oh, Dyer, tell me if he makes it in. I think I think he's going to make it. They don't have a shot on him right now. I think I can. I think I can. Panda Man only has one heart. He's going backwards a little bit. Have they given up? Well, right now I'm walking, watching Tash, and he's just about to cross. He's just inside. He's about to have it. I Frantic and Pokemon are in a whole different place. I Frantic has left the third wall area. He's left it all, all completely. What about V Pix Pixel? Red Wolf secure from Marataru. They don't have it where it needs to be yet, but they've got it out of the area. I don't know if they have. Actually, they might only have one wool one piece on them, so that might be bad. Everybody has. They have, they've abandoned that third wool lockdown. Really? Completely. Where are they at now? Looks like they're all making a push on first. And yes, you are correct. Tash has one red wool on him. Pokemon and I Frantic are running. Uh, look like they're looking to open up the way down here to run first. They are equipped. They want to get the last wool, and they say, fine, you want red, you still got to get two more, let's get yeah. our last one and get out of here. I think they realize now so that they are, they are trying to uh, hold back Dwarven Ninjas on first wool, while also trying to get it for themselves. Oh, Not Pigmen, yes. a lot of progress for Seabank yet. Now those Pigmen spawn angry yeah. there. That is so cruel to spawn I love angry. It. Oh, they broke it. No. <laughs> they need pigmen spawners need to be in bedrock blocks, in in my opinion. Oh, you are a <laughs> cruel taskmaster. Um, you know what? Fifth Whammy just commented at fifty eight minutes is rush the right word. I concur. We're uh, we're just finally ready to go home. Now that they've got uh, Cyan set, it's the last wall, they've just said, fine. You can have your red, let's move on. Yeah. Seabank is not having a lot of luck here, and really, Seabank, are you still... Yeah, you're still naked, darling. Yeah, he's just pain looping. Sword. Oh, he didn't die from that. He got lucky. Oh. Oh, he died from that one, though. Yeah, but he died from that one. You know, just going down with blocks, you're making tiny, tiny progress. Yeah. Versus just having a... a a basic sword. Meanwhile, this is a lot of stuff splatted here. Do we have both people? Yes, Pokemon oh, and Hypantic both died. This is a double splattage here. Nope, Pokemon fell. Alright. 
Oh, doomed to death by the spider. Morotaro has three of their team right here. Oh, at that same middle area. Are we trying? Is Will still trying to get down to second? You can see the progress they made on second. Yeah. They didn't. There's like one more turn to make and go up to actually break into the wool room. They're close. And Fuldesi is like, you shall not pass, <laughs> sir. I am guarding this like nobody's business. Pixel putting a lot of pressure as well. So you got. Uh, Foldesi below, Pixel directly above at the uh, almost top of the mountain, both putting pressure on uh, their sea bank taken out by those anchor pigmen, both putting pressure on any running of second. Looks like Tash and Will are both trying to cover this. They switched off. Tash is now running second. Will is giving cover fire. Foldesi is bored and wishing he had a sign. So we have a PvP fight, and we have a PvE all-out fight down here at first. Pokemon and iFrantic have recovered their stuff, though, and it looks like we are on our last turn. They're making their way up to the, to the wool room. Seabank still being shot, shot by skeletons, taken out by Angry Pigmen, not making any real progress on first. Pokemon... He's broke through. Three will get. We literally have 38 so. and a half minutes left to get to the Victory Monument before time is called. And I think we're going to have no problem with that. I don't think we're going to have a problem. No. Dwarven Ninjas have all three wool now. They're in a good position. They've come down here with armor, with weapons. Oh. Seabank. I heard him. I didn't even get to see you go splat, but I heard it. Yeah, I think we're going to see uh, probably more Taru maybe try to back off a little bit. I don't know. They might Because they don't have anything to fight with right now, really. They You notice the PvPs, uh, the PvPing has really just ceased from more Taru. Yeah, they're, they're not all, shooting back well, hardly. Will was still, yeah, Will was still kind of shooting back. He just died by TNT. I'm curious, was he trying to build a cannon? Did they shoot something in his face? Because Will had been up here just shooting at people. Not sure. Foldesi's still protecting it. Pokemon and Ifrantic making their way hmm. out. Pixel at the top here. Just really putting pressure. Looks like Pandaman has come down to try to help with the running of first. He also is naked. Yeah, a block. A block and some flesh. Oh man. Mortaru's mistake well, right here is trying to run. It looks like Dwarven Edges is on the upper left. staircase at the first wool. Just getting past some water. Then Pokemon and Frantic both have green wool on them. This match is about to be over. This is over. I'm very curious if Mortaro even has very much supplies yeah, left. Yeah, I, I don't think they water. do. I think they're kind of forced to yeah. run um, run it this painfully right now. They're having to pain it because they literally don't have anything else to do. And just have hope for luck at this point. Still dropping. You know what? Full death is like, yeah, that's fine. Y'all yeah, go put him on the monument. I'm still right here guarding <laughs> this one. Pressure is not being backed off of Tash in any way, shape, or form. Pokemon. Uh, the monument's that, that way. <laughs> <laughs> Pixel. Monument that, that way. I bet you they're yelling at him. We just oh, need Cyan. I frantic did it. He's I got the first two down. Or one and three. And you just need, they need the uh, Cyan comes, wool now. Yeah, here comes Pixel. Like, Pokemon, you're going the wrong way. But apparently they had people that they wanted to get to, to, to place. Here it goes, V-Pixel. Boop. Jump it. There it is. And Pokemon right behind him, just in case something went south. Wow. That was good. That was a good match. That was very intense, and it really did come down to resources at the end. 
And that's usually how we go. Yeah. Either it goes straight up PvP skill, um, wool running skill, or resources. And this became a resources match because both both teams had really good at, uh, in regards to PvP. I think um, yeah. Golden Ninjas kept their pressure on a little bit harder than Mortaru did, though. And, and uh, it they're was used just to that such though. A long match.